Hello Virgos, this is your reading for June. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Look at that, won't you? That is the Knight of Wands. <laughs> that flipped out sideways. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands, for some reason, I'm getting that um, the usual depiction where somebody is like in and out and you know mentally you know not necessarily physically um sometimes definitely physically but i feel you guys are you're wanting to be that type of person that could just dip in and out but i feel like you're not really that person that's what i'm getting honestly um is that you don't want to be all in you want to be able to you know have one foot in and one foot out because that way nobody can really hurt you nobody can hold on to you long enough to hurt you so that's what i'm feeling about this um again there's that six of swords too that also came out sideways with the knight of wands wanting to move on not without hurt though wanting to like have one foot in and one foot out that's what that is but I do feel that there's somebody that really kind of has a hold on you um, that you have thought about leaving that you feel like is best for you to leave behind even for some of you there's a Sagittarius, I feel like, uh, maybe Scorpio, and uh, Aquarius energy there. So it came out sideways. I'm going to leave it like that, okay? What is crossing Virgos? What's crossing Virgos or challenging Virgos? The Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Is this worth investing in? Have you spent too much time and energy in this situation to just leave? That's for you to decide. Is it worth you waiting on a change from someone? Is it worth your more investment from you? Taurus energy here. What is the underlying issue here for Virgos? Underlying issue for Virgos the star you feel like this is your soulmate this is the person for you again Aquarius energy I feel like there's some definite healing that needs to take place not just with you but with the relationship itself I feel like you know neither one of you is without hurt is the thing so your soulmate is the issue this soulmate situation is the issue is why you are coming sideways here right now with this knight of wands and the six of swords it's got your emotions in an upheaval okay what was going on in the recent past what was going on in the recent past for virgos Huh, Ace of Wands, you did start over. I think you guys left. Or either, if even if you didn't physically leave, there's some part of you that removed yourself from a situation. Okay? Some of you have just recently had a fling outside of the relationship. Some of you who haven't like been sexual with your person in a while, you've just recently started having sex again. Crying thoughts for Virgo. Crying thoughts for Virgo. Nine of Pentacles. There's a part of you that really wants to be single and stand alone. I feel like you guys have been working on gaining your self-confidence, your own security, um, your independence. 
you're trying to function independent of this soulmate relationship that you have with this person. And I feel like you've really been trying to remove your emotions. There are no cups here. So I know that for a lot of you, it's the time that you've invested, the time that you've been with this person and spent with this person that's keeping you there. And maybe, you know, things have just kind of fizzled out a little bit for you. But there's something in your mind that's telling you that you want to be single. Even though you feel like this is a person for you. Maybe there's something quirky with them. Something that, you know, they've done to you. Because I see here with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, let me take this out. In the Six of Swords, you see there are three swords behind the person and in front of the person. That means there's a lot of hurt surrounding you, a lot of disappointment surrounding you. Okay, so I feel that this person has hurt and disappointed you numerous times. So whether you feel like they're your soulmate or not, they, yeah, they hurt you. How is Virgo feeling about this situation how is Virgo feeling about this situation oh there's a part of you that feels foolish for even wanting to continue to invest with this person and I feel that because again you want to be the type of person to just be able to walk away or be able to dip in and out because you're not ready to fully let go um and I see you wanting to be single. I see you wanting to be independent. And you feel foolish for this because there's a lot of hurt that you've endured being in a relationship with this person. This is Aries energy. Again, some part of you wants to really start over and be by yourself as well. What is the influence here for Virgos? Influence for Virgos influence for Virgos. Five of Wands. Don't know what to do. You've had numerous fights, arguments with this person. Somebody has a temper. Um, there may have even been physical fights with you and this person. This is Leo energy here. But um, you're conflicted. There's conflict all through your story. Hopes or fears for Virgo. Okay. Okay, get on in there. Let me get this card. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. You want to hold on to your independence. You want to be able to remove your emotions, not let this person just own you, not be vulnerable with them. overall outcome here for Virgos. Overall outcome for Virgos. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. There could be children involved, but more so than that, this is like um, kindred spirits reuniting, being together. There's still something between the two of you that's more than just a love affair. You feel like this person is your family. Okay, and they feel the same for you. I feel like both of you are at a point where you're trying not to be too emotionally invested because neither one of you wants to be that vulnerable where the other person um, is able to hurt them. But I see you guys being together. I see you reminiscing about each other, thinking about the good times, um, still having these feelings for each other. But these are feelings. These are emotions here with this cup's energy. Even though both of you are like coming with these, these um, pinnacles and not emotions, the emotions are still there. The feelings are still there. Both of you are not really trying to allow the other one to affect the other on an emotional level is the thing but this is undeniable here 
there's a lot of history I feel like in between the two of you and a lot of hurt feelings as well okay so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon